1 Corinthians. For I received from the Lord what I handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the chalice, after such, saying, This chalice is the new covenant of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this chalice, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Lovely to see you all this morning. Thank you all for watching. Today's Mass has been offered for a special intention for healing. So as we pray for healing, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to all my God that you are my brothers and sisters. But I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my mother's only grief of all. Therefore, I ask, bless the Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray for healing. O God, who reward the merits of the just and offer pardon to sinners who do penance, have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading is from Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, in a time of favor I answer you, on the day of salvation I help you, and I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and a lot of the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, come out to those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the ways they shall find pasture. On every bare height shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them leads them and guides them beside springs of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and the west, and some from the land of Cyrene. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains, for the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant? Be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is 145. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are fallen and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of heaven. in the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the Son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For what he does, the Son will also do also. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whoever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear it will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave the, possession, the Son the possession of life in himself, and he gave him power to exercise judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out. Those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of the just, and those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's an amazing reality that God would become a human being and become like us in all things but sin. To see Jesus was to see the Father. And John was writing his gospel as a very old man and he was afraid that people would not believe that Jesus was the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of God. He felt he was going to die and that people wouldn't accept him for who he was. And he presents this beautiful image of, of, of Jesus being equal to the Father. The Father is always working, and because the Father is working always, it's no violation of the Sabbath for Jesus to heal on the Sabbath. It's no violation for Jesus to forgive sin, because he is God and he has the power to do it. it it's a beautiful image of Jesus being God in human form. Like he did when he was lost in the temple, and he said to Mary, Did you not know I was about my father's business? Jesus' one desire in life is to do God's will. This past weekend when we sent out the bulletin at Most Holy Trinity, we sent out a link to a YouTube talk by Dr. Uh, Tim Gray. Beautiful talk on religious as opposed to spiritual. Or I'm spiritual but not religious. And very often people want Jesus without his kingdom. Everybody knows that Jesus died for our sins. But most people don't remember why Jesus came. He came to establish his kingdom. He came to establish his church. The church he established, like he, the trouble he went to to, to, to to bring Peter up to Caesarea Philippi. If you live in Mississippi, it could be like going all the way to Tunica. Imagine going all the way to Tunica on foot. Just to make a point, the geography tells you it was one great big rock. And he said to Peter, you are rocking on this rock, I've been my church. So much of the teaching of Jesus is about his kingdom, the parables of the kingdom, telling us what the kingdom of God is like. And we're all called to be kingdom builders. Every baptized and confirmed Catholic is called to be another Christ and to do what Jesus does and to build his kingdom here on earth. That's our mission to make disciples and to evangelize. What an awesome God we have that entrusts us with his mission. 
Jesus Christ came. He was God in human form. He taught us about God and he promised us eternal life. And he gave us the great commission to make disciples to build his kingdom. May we always remember that we can't have Jesus without his church. Jesus Christ is calling each of us to build his kingdom. That is Christ. Let us pray for the person who requested healing with the mass intention for today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We have many deceased. We pray for all the upcoming funerals. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all Christians, not only to believe in Jesus, but to believe in the church that he personally established. Church of sinners, for sinners, run by sinners. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we have so many sick people, many people dealing with the coronavirus, with cancer, Parkinson's, kidney disease, ALS, uh, Lou Gehrig's, and, uh, um, and other catastrophic illnesses. We pray for all our sick and the medical profession as they care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, And for all the confirmation people, may they really open their hearts to the Holy Spirit and be kingdom builders. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all the opportunities you give us to build your kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will be found in our spiritual tree. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of His name. For I will live all to the May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us, and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given, a, uh, you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from the disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, the Son and in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the Son and in the highest. Theodore from the year 428, a beautiful quote on the Eucharist. It is proper, therefore, that when Christ gave the bread, he did not say, This is a symbol of my body, but said, This is my body. In the same way, when he gave the cup, he did not say, This is a symbol of my blood, but this is my blood. For he wanted us to look upon the Eucharistic elements after their reception of grace and the coming of the Holy Spirit, not according to their nature, but we see them as they are, the body and blood of our Lord. Who ought, we ought not regard the Eucharistic elements merely as bread and cup, but as the body and blood of Christ, into which they were transformed by the descent of the Holy Spirit. At first it stayed upon the altar as mere bread and wine mixed with water, but by the coming of the Holy Spirit, it is transformed into the body and blood of Christ, and thus is changed into the power of a spiritual and immortal nourishment. You're indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work. 
so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray about your people's offerings and call out of them the power of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son alone is just handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross, but before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth, become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself to his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and choose us, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those who unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and granted by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom, until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy, then freed at last from the wound of corruption, and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we give us our temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and take all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the Lord. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
you're going to be condemned. So <clears throat> he's about justice for all. Uh, and <clears throat> I really like the idea of the end talking about us as an uh, uh, infant and our mothers, you know, our mothers love us. And he said, as, my, as your mother loves you. <clears throat> now, I know that today because today's my mom's birthday. <laughs> I know she loved me, but he said, he said, even if your mom didn't you love you, I love you. So that's our God. We're so, so, uh, we should be so blessed to know him and to serve, serve him and to be with him forever. Those are my thoughts today. Thank you. And I knew Tim's mom very well, Mary Beth Brogdon, and what a wonderful lady. And I never saw Mary Beth without the rosary beads. She was always praying, praying, praying. She was a woman of great prayer and great love. So we wish her, uh, pray for us up in heaven, because if, if there's a heaven, she's got to be there. She's a great lady. Got a cute email. A woman's ear conditioning unit sounded out in the middle of summer, and she frantically called her repairman. He promised to come the next morning. However, she needed to attend an important business meeting at the same time. So she told him that she'd leave a key under a pot of flowers on the porch, and he could let himself in. She asked him to leave his bill on the counter, and she'd mail him a check immediately. In addition, she told him he'd see a particularly furious-looking pit bull, but that the dog wouldn't bother him at all. But she added, don't under any circumstance say anything to the parrot. Leave him alone no matter what. The next morning, the repairman arrived, found the key, and entered the house. He discovered the pit bull lying on the floor asleep. Though he looked mean, he didn't even lift his head as the man gingerly stepped around him. He saw the parrot on a perch, who eyed him suspiciously, but didn't say a word. As soon as the man started working on the air conditioning, the parrot began to yell. The bird knew every insult under the sun and heard each one several times at the helpless repairman. After an hour of listening to the onslaught, the man lost his temper completely. Be quiet, you dumb old bird, he screamed. Quit yelling at me or I'll pull out your ugly feathers. A moment of silence ensued. Then the parrot said calmly and clearly, Go get a bruiser! <laughs> the Lord be with you. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Let us pray the prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, the Holy Spirit, the Lord is faithful. In the name of God. Send forth your spirit, and we shall be created, and you shall come in the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, by the light of the Holy Spirit, instruct our hearts of faith. Grant me, my God.